Volvos are known for their safety. This is very safe. Look at it. What's up guys, Larry Chen here. We are at LS Fest and we've been driving around in the golf cart looking for the coolest cars, coolest builds. And I think we saw one of the craziest builds here. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Wow, it's a Volvo. The badge is the thing that really got me when I saw this. It's a V06. What the heck? So I stopped the owner hey, how's here. Going, What's your name? Jeff Allen. Jeff? Yes. What did you do? What is this? I, I went a little crazy, but I had an 831 horsepower to the rear wheel Z06, and I had this all original Amazon 122S, which had a whopping 85 horsepower. And I parked them next to each other one day in my shop, and I got out and I noticed the wheelbase was pretty close. And I thought, well, how cool would it be to morph the Amazon body, which I think is just really cool, old school style, on top of that C6 chassis. Then I wanted to go even farther and I said, we got to drop a Lingenfelter LS7 in it. We got to have 700 horsepower. This is like eight times the power of this original car. What the, that, this is so cool. I love it. Thank I, I you, mean, thank you. the thing is, I mean, no one's done it before. Not to this level. I mean, there's been some Amazon out there that are pretty trick, you know, and custom. And, and I kind of liked the whole idea behind it. But I was like, you know what? Uh, the year before we built a 63 Ford Falcon and we used all Coyote powertrain with a, you know, a supercharger and it did 675 horsepower. And everybody thought we just took a Mustang and put a Falcon body on it. And I said, well, that might've been easier. So when we were going to build this, I said, I'm gonna do what everybody wants me to do take a body of something and put it on a chassis of a Corvette and voila, there she is. There's something about LS Fest that just brings out the crazies. Last uh, year's LS Fest at Bowling Green, I featured that 240Z. Oh, that was that, sick. Yeah, the 240Z06, right? Yeah. So it was basically a Z06, but it was a 240Z, whereas you have an Amazon right. Z06. V06. V06. Yeah. Can we do a little walk around? For sure, what do you uh, want to see first? Just, wow, I mean, you, you went out of your way even to kind of do the little touches that I love so much, like a Swedish license plate that says Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Yeah, I, I mean, it's kind of the nickname. As the cars started going together, we were like, you know what, it's like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. But even if you notice, like, this used to be the gas filler cap, uh -huh. and I wanted something European and cool, so I put a brake light, you know, the, I mean, a reverse yeah. light in there. The actual width of the Amazon and the Corvette was in within uh, three quarters of an inch. So I needed to shave a little, weld a little, so that way it fit right over the top. Because what, what was important to me was the statics. <laughs> I know yeah. that sounds weird, right, with these crazy flares. But I wanted, when you open the door, I wanted the original door sill plates to fit right over the frame rail. So that's what we did. So the Corvette frame is right tucked underneath here. Ladies and gentlemen, this just in, Hootigan is flying you and a friend out to Las Vegas to party with us at SEMA. Bergyard events, two times a day, every single day at SEMA. Yeah. Basically, you and a friend get to come out to beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, located at the convention center right here. There's a, uh, a forecast of uh, Shreddy with a uh, possible chance of mooning. Let's take it out to the field, check with Ron. That's right. It appears we have lost lab coat Ron in the field due to high sendage. Anyway, here's how you enter. Head over to dollarshaveclub.com slash Hoonigan. Sign up, get one of their monthly subscriptions. Then head over to hoonigan.com slash DSC, fill out your information, prove that you signed up for DSC, and you will be entered to win. Every single entry gets a gift bag. Top three entries get the prizes. Yeah, and if that was hard for you to understand, basically click the links below. They're all there. And, uh, oh, did I just expose our set? Oh my goodness. The best for me is the interior, like it, it has a Volvo steering wheel? Well, that's a Volvo steering cap on the Corvette oh, steering wheel. Oh, because so like the shifter and all the center console, yeah. I recognize as the Corvette. It's all carbon Grand Sport because I, I wanted to go with the carbon fiber and the little yellow stitching throughout. Oh my God, the headliner. This is just... And then I wanted some of that racer feel, you know, the, yeah. Porsche, the old Porsche RSs. Yeah, but yeah. we use a, the, all the Corvette components are in here. So these are the Corvette door locks. They operate just like they would. In fact, these, 
We took the pad from the Corvette, you know, you normally reach in and grab, that's behind this, so when you, you can hear it, the trigger. Amazing. So the keyless entry, everything still works? Everything works. You mean to tell me cruise control? Everything, air, condi everything. air conditioning, cruise control, you name it, it all works. You could daily drive this thing. Totally. In fact, here's the key fob, just like you would on a Corvette. My favorite part's what's under the hood. Yeah, can we pop the hood? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So it's a Lingen filter race prep motor. They're saying it's uh, 675 horsepower conservatively. These are actually the Corvette carbon, you know, inner fender wells. So we try to incorporate everything we could from the Corvette to make it kind of flawless. But we kind of got lucky because even with like how the air intake fits, you look at all this, it just kind of all went together. Yeah. And then the reservoir just kind of. That's amazing. So this is the place. stock yeah. Corvette reservoir. Huh. And then our dry sump is actually mounted under the fender. Huh. So we go through the top, that's for the filler to check the dry sump, but everything else is mounted under that fender. The only thing that's not Corvette on it is the, the, the Mustang, 2014 Mustang heat extractors. I wanted something that would really draw some heat out of the hood. Yeah, and, they're actually functional. And they're functional. The interior is what gets me. Like, I love that it looks like a Corvette, but it's totally not. And it's so finished. What about the trunk? Yeah, you wanna see the trunk? This is the only emblem I kept, the original Volvo emblems. Because it had Volvo in the hood and it had the 122S on the side. This is the only one I kept because I thought it was really cool how they integrated the, yeah. the trunk lock and stuff with that. Wow, it's so finished. We carried on the uh, headliner theme through the trunk. Gave it a little trunk liner. I love it, I love it. Look at that Volvo glass and everything. We are about to take Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, also known as the V06, to a nicer location to get some nice static shots of it. Corvette gauges and it all works speedometer and everything these are the kind of builds that I love so much just so unique 